everyone. I'm Shannon Norman. And I'm Marian Lee. And we're the sales team here at Abbotswood. Welcome to our Valentine's date night event. By now, you should have picked up your sweets, wine, and art. And in just a second, we're going to start our class with our very own Peter Schuller. Grab your glass of wine and paintbrush and follow along as Peter guides you with step-by-step -step instructions. We invite you to send us a picture of your completed masterpiece afterwards so we can share it with others. Enjoy! Hi everybody, my name is Peter Sheeler. I'm a chef here at Abbotswood at Irving Park. I also have a little bit of an art background. I went to school to be an art teacher many years ago and realized that uh, I didn't really want to teach the children. Whoops! <laughs> but anyway, um, uh, so basically we're here to, uh, to do some uh, little painting. Uh, I've sketched out some canvases and uh, with me here is Teresa Coleman. She's the director of dining here at Abbotswood and she's going to be painting with me and uh, we're going to kind of just show you guys how to follow the lines and try to just kind of do it your own way and make sure that you know this all works out for everyone and hopefully you'll have fun doing it. Everyone's going to get one of these little palettes for your paints. Um, they have little divots in there you can put different colors in. Um, you can use anything plastic at home. It doesn't matter. Um, it'll work the same way. We're going to work with acrylic paints. This is the paint set that everyone's going to get. Inside is the acrylic paints, which are many colors, and then also three brushes to start with. So that's what we're going to need. Teresa and I are going to share the brushes. Okay. So you have your main colors you use, but basically, you know, you could do it with fewer colors if you wanted to. So we're just going to keep this in the middle so we can share everything, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so what we're going to do, I mean, can we focus on this uh, right here? Uh, mainly the pictures that I sketched out are all the same of a bird. It's pretty basic. Um, you can make it any way you want for the way you like to do it. The only other thing we need here is some water to basically mix the paints with. Acrylic paints dry very quickly. They're um, made from plastic. They blend very nicely, but they dry quickly. So if you're gonna blend anything, you kinda wanna do it, either overlap it or do it quickly as you're doing it, because they dry, you know, uh, very quickly. All right, are we ready? Ready. Okay, so we see, we're both seeing whatever. What, what, what do you wanna start with? Uh, I want a blue bird. Okay. Light blue, dark blue? Let's, let's both do that. Yeah. Okay, I'll start with some of this. Blue in there. All right, want some dark blue too? Mm-hmm. Therese is a professional. She's done this with me before. I really enjoy it. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. The painting's great. I mean, it really is good for everybody. I put music on and just enjoy. Got some yellow in there? Yep. Okay. Well, you know what would really be awesome? What? We were sipping. Sure. We were sipping. Yeah. That helps too. That's what I do at home. Music, sipping. Relax. That's yeah. the whole idea about painting. That's what's so great about it. Okay. A little cloth. You get anything on you here. Okay, let's do some orange. And we could definitely. Let's see. White. We're just okay. gonna blend with everything. Yeah. So I'll put some of that in the middle. And we'll use that to try to blend this stuff. Well, first to start with. Mm -hmm. So pick a brush, we can switch them off too. Okay. And then whenever you need to clean your brushes, put it in the water. Mm -hmm. And you can wipe it down with that if you need to. Okay. Okay? Yeah. All right, now again, you can start with an outline if you want to, or you can go right in with the color. It doesn't make any difference. So I'm just gonna blend a little of the blue. A little lighter. And I'm just gonna begin on the top. And following the lines, where, where the beak part is, kind of decide. I'm going to come in 
the different colors. So I'm going to do this one color and then I'll probably go over it with some others to just blend it in. You can, uh, you could start out with a uh, tracing everything with a black if you so want to and, and you know then go over it with color too because you can always go over it. It doesn't have to stay the same. You know, so I'm right around the eye, keep the eye separate. At least that's what I'm doing. I just follow lines, give you a guideline. Now again, the, it's kind of in little compartments sometimes the way I did this with the bird, but again, it, it doesn't have to be. You can do it any way you want. How's it going, Teresa? I know the beaks come in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and go under here, and then I'll do the beak part. And then I'll finalize the outside. So I'm keeping the eye separate. But again, you can do this any way you want. This is not this is not something that has to be guided. I mean, any way you want. It's your world. Your happy little world, as Bob Ross says. Right, Teresa? Yeah. Okay. All right, so we got that pretty much covered there. Okay, I'm gonna use the water. Wipe it off a little bit with a cloth. Okay, and then I'm gonna try to go in there and do the, uh, the beak. Use a little bit of orange there, a little bit of yellow. I'm trying to picture what a beak would be like for a bird. I think that's good. So you can blend the colors. And when you're done with the, uh, with the little palette that we gave you, or your plastic piece, whatever you're using, um, you can basically just rinse it off and use it over and over again. And even if the paint's dry on there, um, the good thing about it is um, you can just go over it with it. Once the acrylic paints dry, they dry. And so, you know, you can go over it over again. So you don't have to rinse it every time. But it helps, keeps it nice and clean. Did you put some brown on it? Sure. So, you know, basically I've just made the outline of the head, I've done the beak, I got the eye ready to do, so that's why I put the black down, because I'm just going to make some little adjustments that was in the drawing and try to indicate indicate the beak Go around the eye. using the thin brush. So we can indicate the eye there, and then put a little white. And a little black dot. Again, more blue. And I'll put more white in there, and we'll continue. I'll try to get it a different, different shade as we go along. Put more white. 
There we go. Sometimes when you have extra paint on your brush, you get a good effect. Well, it blends together, and it's not, you know, you're not mixing it up, it's just all on the brush. Sometimes that gives you nice effects. So it kind of just changes the shade a little bit. You can use the white to underline things too. From different parts of that little drawing I did. And like I said, the, the lines are just guidelines, but you can do it any way you want. I mean, just because we're using blue doesn't mean you have to use blue either. Okay, now I'll take a little darker over here. And sometimes if you need to leave the leave some white on the canvas, you can do that too and make it work for you. You don't have to cover everything. And again, you can use some water too to thin it down and get a little more coverage as you go and then sometimes you can use the black to just go in there I mean, you can do it at the end if you want with the black um some people you know prefer to do that but i prefer to do it as i go so i don't forget where i'm at where i'm at it's going to do it nice and thin the water okay i've got to separate that You can always go over the blue and just leave some of that black to kind of indicate. To, but I do. I just did a, um, I'm doing a painting of Jimi Hendrix <laughs> halfway through with that, and then I've been doing some uh, pencil drawings lately. Mm. Kind of relaxes me, you know? Yeah. It really does. I mean, since I moved out by, my, by myself, have a table to work on so it makes it a little difficult working on your coffee table That's all I'm doing. You know, I'm going to stick with the blue idea and then kind of change up the colors as I go. Sometimes if your water gets a little murky, 
you know, you can you can change it, but if you just wipe the brush off, it usually works all right. But it never hurts to change your water either. A little more white in there, huh? Yeah. All right. This is a really nice paint set. You guys are gonna get. I think you're gonna enjoy it. Because acrylics are really the easiest thing to work with compared to oil paints or watercolors are very difficult. They're a whole different ball game. I'm just going to indicate the lines so you can follow that and then move forward. So I'm trying to keep different shades here. Some of the darker blue. That's pretty. Thing. Yours looks good too. I was trying to do some blending with this yellow and brown. Yeah, that was a good idea. Sometimes you want to cover it, you can paint sideways, but you can also move it around in circles. And sometimes that fills in gaps quicker. Oh, yeah. If you're in the middle of space, once you get tight to the lines, you want to you let the brush do the job for you. And again, if you ever get a blank canvas, you can always either sketch it out with pencil on there and then go over it with a paint. Or you can even just go in and just start painting. It doesn't have to be a certain subject. Sometimes I've gone in and just made a whole landscape out of my head. It's whatever you want it to be. That's the part that's so cool about it. Because there's no right and wrong. Was everything else in life? Huh. Now, like if you look on the on the tail, you know, I just sketched it out, but basically it's got lines on there down here that I just put down to indicate where the feathers would be. So again, if I go over that it's when one color, I can always indicate it over it with white once it dries, or black, doesn't matter, just to show where the, those feathers were. So instead of trying to go in between them all, to me, I'm just gonna cover it all, and then I'm gonna go over it with the, the lines to do, and I'll show you what I mean by that. I'm just deciding what color to do that in. I'm gonna keep the blue idea, the lighter color.
little bit darker blue over here. Sometimes it's good to underline things with darker and lighter. Now the feet are going to be the toughest part. Yo, you already did your... Wow, good job. Okay, so now, like I said, acrylic paints dry so fast that this is almost dry already where I can go over it. And I think what I'm going to do, since it's all up to you, like I said, is I think I'm going to go with black to indicate those lines I showed you. even white right next to it. And then maybe in the middle, add a little more feather with the white. Action. First, I think I'm going to underline some things in black to just indicate. And go over that with a white contrast. I think I'm going to do the same color as the beak, I think. These are going to be a little more difficult to follow because they're a little more intricate than the rest of the picture. So I'm just going to go over them like that with a color. And then I'll either go in and do the contrast with black or white. Looks good, Teresa. My bird got three different blues, seems like. Yeah, mine too. Alright, now we're going with the black. I'm going to try to do that. Let's make sure you don't have too much paint, a little bit more water. And that way it actually goes smoother. That's pretty, babe. Thank you. Thanks. 
some piece of white over that. <laughs> it really looks good, Pete. Thank you. Appreciate that. Sometimes if you do, like right now I'm trying to get the, the color on there, but the black's still not quite dry, so I'll come back to that to get that what I'm trying to do. And then, you know, once you get it covered, then at that point now it's just sort of like, you know, too much sometimes is too much. So sometimes it's easier to just leave it the way it is and then go from there, you know, or you see something that might need a little touch up here or there. but. Sometimes the more you work something, the worse it becomes. See, so it doesn't take long, I mean, to do one of these things and, you know, if you can sketch out your own stuff, it's even better, and then just go over it with the paint. And if, if this whole thing dries, and I don't like the way it turned out, uh, it, it'll be dry within an hour, maybe less. I can just go over the whole thing and start again. Won't even matter. That's the good thing about acrylics. You can't do that so much with other paints, but with acrylics, you can go over it and redo the whole thing if you want to, if you don't like it. Or just get a new canvas and do something else out of your head. That looks really good. Another bird to hang in your office, huh? <laughs> no, I already got one in there. <laughs> you got one? You got those, those plates too? Bird yeah. Time. Oh, it's good. Thanks. It's just a so you can tell if you can look at both of these, the one blank one here, you can kind of see where I just use the little boxes of stuff, just change the colors. But you don't have to do that. You can do one color, it doesn't matter, however you want to do it. It's just a guideline. Guess I gotta give him some color in his eyes. No, I just kind of stay with the white. But whatever you think. I think, I, I, you know, bird's eyes, like, a lot of them, when you look at them, they're sometimes black. Yeah. But I mean, to go in black sometimes is a little scary. Yeah. And you gotta sign your name afterwards. I don't know about that, Pete. So I'm gonna put my little signature in there. P.S. That's cool, Pete. Looks really good. What are you doing in that one spot? Anything? I'll put some white. I'll put some white. That'll work. Yeah. 
You just put a little glue on top of it. Yeah. It'll blend right in. Yep. Make a little more. Yeah. And it'll just indicate it. There we go. Perfect. I don't care what they say about you. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Just like a professional. What color do I want? I don't know. What are you going to do? Um, put my name on it. Oh. Whatever color you want. Mm. Get some yellow. T-bone? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep, good to go. You want to show me? Nice job. Good job. And uh, I think we're, we're pretty good, huh? Yeah. All right, so everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I appreciate it, um, and I go. I know you guys will enjoy all this. This is really good. The, like I said, the palette, the paint set, the canvas is all ready for you. You can just enjoy it. It's going to be good. Thank you so much.